This originally was meant to be episode 5. I also ordered a mic over a month ago that still hasn't arrived and I wanted to wait on that, but there is a global sense of urgency to bring attention to what is happening in America right now. Watching on from Australia, this isn't something that has happened overnight. I understand only bad things escape to world news and America on our news looks like a fucking hellhole full of guns and death. Kind of like Australia with our arsenal of deadly flora and fauna. But the time for talk is over now and a massive change is coming. I don't really like talking politics at all, I find the whole discussion incredibly exhausting. But really it shouldn't be about pushing an agenda when discussing innocent people that are being unfairly treated for means outside of their control. Justice was served four days later, but even the least empathetic people could imagine the ever-growing anger and frustration boiling inside any supporter. Those four days would have been an eternity and the pain still isn't over. So, this episode I wanted to show a similar response to a similar event in American history and dig up what time forgets. Take a knee, my ass, is what happens when ignorance is king. The majority of this review will be about the politics associated with the song because the song itself is so bland and so by the books, no one would talk about it. I think of those whose freedom was not free, and I say, take a knee, my ass. I'll stand up for the flag. This song represents a very strong disconnect between generations and the older generations being so resistant to keep things the same they are willing to spill blood over it. I should add a bit of context, in 2016 Colin Kaepernick took a knee during the US national anthem at a football game in an act of silent protest against police brutality and racism much to worldwide debate and criticism. This offended people so much that there was a call to fire and blacklist any players not standing for the national anthem. There are hundreds of videos on YouTube on this debate of all varying stances and the case is still going on today so I'll leave it at that. The main take home from the debate is the anthem is to celebrate the liberation of the United States and its people, so disrespecting the anthem by not standing for it means you don't support the troops or the freedom of the United States. Think of it like the 1968 Black Power salute. The outcry caused some people to turn to music to bring their ideas forward. Which makes sense, right? Um, a lot of anti-establishment music have been bookmarks of global struggles and usually are the greatest encapsulation of what it feels like to live in those areas. Not too often you hear pro-establishment music, but something tells me there is a reason for that. Thank God I live in the home of the brave and the land of the free. My ass. What a stupid fucking title. Yeah, this song will be infinitely more offensive than any peaceful protest because of the blindness of the whole thing. If you value the integrity of your football game that much that you are willing to overlook a century-long race war, then you are fighting a losing battle. If they aren't happy about politicizing the NFL, then why have a patriotic ceremony to begin with? Both sides have their reasoning for why the other is wrong, but for the sake of everyone involved, at least know what the fuck you're talking about. And if you don't understand it, please educate yourself. If you aren't listening to the other person, then you are just speaking to hear your own voice. It's what makes talking politics so frustrating because it's just a giant echo chamber. But none of that matters if the song slaps. So is it a bang up? Arm in arm, side by side, American heroes fought and died. And showing some respect too much to ask. No, it's not. These songs feel like they were made 30 years ago because they basically were. These washed up old country stars who haven't released music in decades come out of their cryogenic stasis for one football match and they see the world has changed and this makes them mad. This made the country charts? What the fuck? If you agree with what he says, you could say that this got review bombed on Rate Your Music because of its message, but the stats speak for itself. And the tags speak for itself too. The irony is sensational. From what I've found looking this topic up, there is at least one more song in a similar style, country as well of course, discussing the event in a similar childish patriotic light. Just say please do us a favor, all of you America haters, if you're gonna take a knee, take a hike, oh we don't apologize for America. 
the rap ones were pretty obvious on their stances, but I think my favourite of the bunch was Fight Music's 2013 song on their album, <laughs> Let Them Eat Cock. Obviously 2013, it had nothing to do with the matter at hand, but I enjoyed it a lot. I want to try and find something to recommend each episode, so here we go. We already laid in the margin. I think you can tell I grew up playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Take any Game of the Year edition is hard to place. The message is sincere, but the message is of pure blind hatred for progressiveness. It represents an ongoing debate that is ruining people's lives, but the song itself is so lackluster and boring, I would be genuinely surprised if anyone still listened to this song. Like the saying goes, don't hate the player, hate the game. And as we speak, the game is getting what it deserves. For that, it sits third. Thanks for watching The Worst of Rate Your Music. Stay safe, stay healthy. Until next time, I'll be playing Color a Dinosaur for the NES.